Grazie, grazie, molto bravo. E adesso invitiamo. Thank you very much. We now give the floor to William Bell, Mayor of Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you, His Excellency, and in particular, I would like to recognize the U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See, Ambassador Hackett, who is present with us. Absolutely. And to all of my fair fellow mayors, I am honored to be a part of this auspicious occasion. Uh, at the time of my birth, I was born into a society in Birmingham, Alabama, that existed under the close cousin of slavery called segregation. Segregation was designed to exploit individuals and groups based on race and race alone. Uh, it was for the economic purpose of cheap labor. It was to control society and to control human beings. But because, as Madam Archer said this morning, good men and good women of goodwill came together, segregation was ended. Now is the time for us to heed the clarion call of Pope Francis to to end the universal suffrage of individuals who are being victimized by human trafficking. As an ambassador to the organization called Human Rights First, we are dedicated to work not only within the United States, but internationally with other organizations to end this travesty among God's children. We have made a lot of progress in combating trafficking both in the United States and abroad over the past 15 years, but we are still a long way to go. The U.S. signed the Trafficking Victims Protection, Protection Act into law in 2000, which created our framework for fighting trafficking both within the U.S. and overseas. Alabama adopted its first anti-trafficking law in 2010, and all 50 U.S. states have laws to address trafficking as of 2012. Despite increased efforts to combat slavery in the U.S. and globally, it continues to be the fastest growing crime globally, enslaving an estimated 21 million victims worldwide and earning $150 billion in illicit profits annually. The State Department reported that uh, there were just 5,776 convictions worldwide last year and only 174 in the United States which tells us this crime is of low risk and high reward for its perpetrators. There needs to be increased effort to dismantle the business of trafficking by reversing this risk-reward equation. In particular, we need to increase prosecution in the United States and around the globe. This will, this will require a comprehensive multi-sector approach that establishes new partnerships to share dat data and best practices and to expand the capacity of law enforcement. In addition, there must be new energy and partnerships developed between law enforcement, governments, businesses, and civil society to bring, to bring perpetrators profit and ensure legitimate businesses and government are not knowingly or unwittingly supporting the crime by having slave labor in the supply chains of their companies and those from which they uh, procure goods. A little more detail on what is needed to solve the problem with this approach will be helpful. We must increase the number of prosecutions as well as increase the effectiveness of those prosecutions by one, using an approach in investigation and, and prosecution, utilizing enhanced expertise developed through training of law enforcement, prosecutors, and judges, providing increased and enhanced sources of evidence beyond victim, victim testimony. Two, increase information sharing between international, state, federal, and local authorities. Three, increasing law enforcement partnerships with banking and financial services institutions to red flag dat data from financial transactions to ferret out traffickers. Four, increasing employee training and collaboration of other private sector actors who can help identify and report incidents of trafficking in their communities. We must also decrease the profits that are being made. As long as trafficking remains a lucrative, as long as it remains lucrative, it will continue to thrive. The business community, the government, and financial services sectors should work together to develop common sense solutions to decrease the profitability of this criminal enterprise, which currently nets in, in, in the estimates of 
$2 billion annually. Civil society and faith community have a role to play, here by pressing those entities to do as consumers and constituents. Finally, it is estimated that the total commitment to fighting modern day slavery globally is appallingly low in comparison to the profits. Although the U.S. is the largest financial contributor to initiatives combating trafficking globally, we still spend more in a single month addressing the drug problem than, we have in the, than we've spent in the last 15 years in combating trafficking. That is simply insufficient. Resources, and effective, resources to effectively combat this scourge must be brought in balance with scale and scope of this problem. We are grateful to the Holy Father for bringing us all together, but it is now time for action. It is time for all of our cities, all of our governments, and all of our people to stand united against the earth. I thank you for your attention.